Hey, this is Alexis Sheree, and today I am coming to discuss lesson three of remote viewing. If you haven't had the chance to look at lesson one and two, please do so. You will find it on my website, which is alexisheree.com. The information is below. So starting with lesson three, the first thing I definitely want to talk about is a big disclaimer. And that disclaimer is, the purpose of remote viewing is not to spy on others. Remote viewing has the same interaction with one another. It has the same boundaries um, as someone interacting in person with one another. So even though remote viewing is not a physical task, it is, it does consist of integrity. For example, in the physical world, you would not walk into anyone's home and walk directly into their bathroom while they're in there taking a shower, right? Because someone would call the police on you or either shoot you, maybe, or beat you up really bad. So no, we wouldn't do that in a physical setting, interacting with one another. Same thing goes for remote viewing. Your intentions, you do have to make the intention of what you're doing when you are intending on doing something specifically. Now there are times that you may remote view. Um, let me see, how can I explain this? There may be times that you do like an automatic re remote view without really your oh gosh I'm really trying to find the right words here sometimes remote viewing can happen without you even if, without you knowing that it's getting ready to take place okay so in a situation like that my inner belief is that this was something that was already decreed to happen it was already set up for you for this to take place etc but getting back to the disclaimer uh, hope i'm explaining this okay just have a pure intention remote viewing is not about spying on anyone trying to go get some information that you don't know about in a sense of where you're taking the information from someone else in a in a harmful way or an intention to hurt or anything like that so you do so basically, just have good intentions, okay? <laughs> if you have any questions about that, hit me up. Let me know. I will do my best to explain it. Maybe in a different way. If the way I explained it, you didn't understand. Okay, so we're getting off of the disclaimer of having good integrity when you remote view. Um, a really cool thing about remote viewing is that you're able to connect with your, with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. <clears throat> so I think it's important for, I've always told people in my life, um, telepathy and things like that, it's important to build that up within you because if there, for any reason, if we lost access to connecting to one another through the internet, through the telephone, etc., how would we be able to talk to one another, except even if we couldn't write a letter to one another. So it's important I want you to think about that for a minute. Yeah, and I'm sure you have. So it is important, I believe, for me it's important, not for everyone, but for me. Um, it's important to be able to connect on a physical, on a, on a mental, energetic level with others. That's important to me. Yeah. So we are gonna talk about some other cool things with remote viewing. Um, and I want to know if you guys have any, please, questions. I need questions. Ask me questions. You can ask me. You can DM me if you can find me on Instagram. Same name, Alexa Sheree. You can um, go to the website, Alexa Sheree. You can contact me that way. And you can also contact me at alexasheree at gmail.com. Yes. I welcome your questions. I want to post your questions for others to see. Um, I do have someone who had a very very good question and they wanted to know if you can actually set up a specific area to teleport from 
if you had an intention to go to a particular place, could you actually make like a, like a portal for that? So I do have the answer for that. I want to add it and I'm actually going to add the answer and the question to the website and it will be located under the online lessons under remote viewing. So if you are interested in seeing what the answer is, you have to go there and look. I can't just tell you everything. You have to read a little bit for yourself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to come back. We're going to pick up where we left off. But until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And again, my name is Alexa Shere. I'm with Epathic Way, located in Stone Mountain, Georgia. I'm also a certified handwriting analyst or analysis. I can provide you with a handwriting analysis. And I am a hypnotherapist. Hope you guys have a great day. You take care.